it has reached that time of year where Venom Blue Bear crawls from out of his earthly domain seeking offerings to appease him. Not just any offering. He requires images of special creatures. These creatures are classified as Venom Blue Bear creatures. Thank you everyone for tuning in to the VHS podcast, VHS Tapes podcast. I am Venom, your temporary host, and joined with me is Heroicus and Six Foot. Hey. Your mic mic is still shit. Yeah, my mic is really bad. uh, The other day I listened to an episode and I was hosting it. I'm like, I thought everyone was a few moon, but no, they were a few (laughs) moon. But anyway, these offerings. Who wants to go first? Um, all right, sure, I'll go first. So let me. This is going to be a little bit uh, of a pain in the ass, just because. So I have all my notes in a private server, and uh, ch- 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 here we go. So my first creature is a what do they call this? Um, Eleanor the Echidna. I think that's how you pronounce it. This, uh, this fella right here. So, which, I'm, you've, I've showed you guys that before. And there's a bit of a backstory to it, too. Um, so basically, I, th- I think these things are native to Australia. And, uh, or is it, I don't know, it's the UK male, but I think it's an Australian creature. I guess this thing, like, got hit by a car, and the only reason she survived was because she was so fat, like she is in the picture. But oh. it's not that, it's just like, look, look at that fucking creature. <laughs> true. Both stubby oh. and round. Perfect yeah. combination. Yeah, and it was like, I, I had to show, like, several different people before I ended up showing you, like, what the fuck is this creature? Like, I showed co-workers, I showed my mom, you know, nobody knew, my mom thought it was a sloth of some kind. My co-workers, it was like, we were at some fucking, like, holiday event for, like, it was like some, like, uh, it was like some Christmas thing or whatever, and it was like, I had to take a group picture of them, and I still had that picture open on Discord, so it was like, when they wanted to see the photo, I just had that up on my phone. So, they were expecting to see the group picture, and they saw that. And they were like, but anyway, but yeah, so, nobody knew what it was, is the point. What a Until... fat ass. <laughs> I love it. I, I love the picture. I love the thing. I want one. All right, so I don't remember what this was called. It's clearly some type of frog, but here you go. Oh, isn't that like a rhino frog, or I don't know what it is, but something like that. That's just, that's that's my guess as to what it could be called. I forgot to write it down. Somewhere there's like a a red and blue spider that's about to fight it. Yeah. And it was I wonder, what? By, a, by a human. <laughs> Good. Uh, I kind of want to do it. Of course you do. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Like anyone that ever in the comments let me know had a frog taco, because I think that would make good taco meat. I mean, I know, like, people eat frog legs. I don't know where. Like, that must be a... Is that a French thing? I don't know. I think so. Okay, so here is mine. This is a pondolin. They're, uh... I think they're Australian. And they're basically like an armadillo, almost. And, unfortunately, they're endangered. But... They are cute. Interesting. Yeah, that looks like uh, looks like if they made Godzilla, but in Australia. Godzilla wasn't from Australia. 
I mean, I know it was a Japanese movie, but like he could have come from Australia. Ah, who knows? Australia's not Australia doesn't exist. Yeah, no one's mm. enough people to be Australian. <laughs> nice find. All right, I guess uh, I guess I'm up next. So let me go back. <clears throat> So I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with this creature, but, you know, this definitely fits the bill. A star-nosed mole. Hmm. I and saw I one of those earlier. <laughs> that like appeared on one of your list. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't know where you can find these things in the wild, but, I mean, they exist. Oh. Um. Their noses are kind of freaky. Yeah. I just I just remember I knew you guys love to fucking like tease me for liking the movie G Force, which I don't. Even as a kid, I didn't like it. Because it's got guinea pigs in it, but it's like uh, I think it was like their tech genius or whatever. It was a star nosed mole, and even then I'm like, what the fuck is this thing? You didn't know it yet, but it was a Venom Jubert creature. <laughs> Yeah, All right. fucking Hollywood started up, started me off at a young age. Yeah. So here we have a Dumbo octopus. <laughs> <laughs> look, look how stupid it looks. <laughs> it looks like a fucking anime creature. It, maybe it's an anime Venom Jubert creature. <laughs> well, I'm I'm guessing this is a sea creature. Oh yeah, I mean it has to be a sea creature, right? Yeah. Kind of reminds me of that per that pink octopus from Finding Nemo. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, you made me ink. Yeah, that one. Classic Pixar movie. Mm hmm. I uh. I like it. I, uh, this one too, I wonder what it tastes like because it's a sea creature. What? Next episode, we should do a Venom Jubert taste test. Venom Jubert oh, creature. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> just all the Venom Jubert creatures we showed, we just eat them in front of a camera. And then you eat it. Venom, the Venom Jubert creature mukbang. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Speaking of which, uh, you're up, Venom. Oh, I'm up. Okay. Uh, this one, six foot, is incredibly familiar with because all he needs to do is look in the mirror. This is a spider crab. This is like a huge ass motherfucking crab. They're kind of freaky, but six foot is a spider crab for everyone to know. This is true. I, I mm -hmm. show up to work every day and everyone's like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're a crab. <laughs> a talking crab that drinks beer. <laughs> Arg, Sponge Boy, me Bob. <laughs> yes, yeah, you're Mr. Crab. <laughs> I'm a spider crab, so I can shoot webs out of my cock, and I just, I, I just have a sponge like fucking. It, I mean, SpongeBob's probably what is he like, sixteen or something? So it's like child labor. Has him cook burgers for him, and then he has a fucking depressed octopus squid as the cashier. Take orders. Yeah. And then you get all these fucking bums and ungrateful assholes as customers for, you know, his business. And it's like, you know, what kind of a business plan is that? I guess you could say it's daring today, aren't we? <laughs> Pretty much. So, uh, are you ready to post your six? Uh, give me a second. Uh... Yeah, so this next one is a Russian dwarf hamster. Of course. Uh, 
Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know about these things. Like, my, so my sister had guinea pigs like ten years ago, a little more than that. And the only re- like they're not on this list. Spoiler alert, because they're they're more like six foot creatures than venom Jew bear creatures. But this one is genuinely a venom Jew bear creature. But yeah. Yeah, my sister has one of these things now, and it's, yeah, it's about to die, and I'm kind of sad about it. Yeah, you were telling me if it sucks. Yeah, so, soon to be, rest in peace. I'm just, I'm doing the salute now, you can't see it, but. I believe you. (laughs) But yeah, so. I don't know. You you can probably find well. You can almost definitely find videos of these things, and you know, they're just they're <laughs> fucking hilarious. Uh, they're very cute. And everyone in the comments, make sure to give a proper salute to the baby hamster, the little guy. Oh, that's so sad. So this next one is a Saiga antelope. Ooh. Yeah, that's a, that, that's a Venom Jubair creature, all right. It's, it's oh, yeah. A, it's got a shotgun that was just like a tapir. <laughs> yes. I wonder it if it like... moves around the same way, though. <laughs> Probably. I'm just imagining, like, you're you're stuck in the desert, in a, like your your fucking Ford Bronco or whatever, and you just see one of those come up to your window, and it's just like it just comes up and like the tape your gif, it just the nose just flops around. Yeah. I'd keep it. Uh, in, uh, here is our next creature. This one no one knows about. This one is incredibly obscure. This is the tape beer. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one's ever heard of them. Clearly. That's uh, that's that is like the definitive uh, Venom Jew Bear creature. Yes, it is the official like- mask. The official mascot, in fact. Yes. Yeah. Potentially the inspiration behind this this uh, episode. Beautiful. <laughs> Priceless. Like, what what uh, purpose do they serve, though, in uh, the environment? What purpose do they serve? They, uh, they re- they're herbivores, and so basically what they do is they eat plants and then shit out the seeds. Hmm. So they're farmers. Yeah. <laughs> Farming, really? A tapir of your talents? Good reference. Good reference. It's a peaceful life. It's <laughs> fitting and pissing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, so... Uh, it's your turn. Uh, yeah. I think we might have went a little bit out of order, but it's okay. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but again, this was like I found this on a list, so I think it's an I I. Oh, oh I yeah, know. I saw one of those too. It's and I got a couple more pictures of those. Uh, and then one more. This one was funny. My God, <laughs> it's hell. Oh. Hideous, horrible somehow. <laughs> I, it's, I, 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 Captain. I don't know, but it's. I'm not sure. Is like, is this supposed to be a lemur or? I mean, it looks like Dobby fucked a bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that like the last picture there I posted there, like that one especially. Well. The second and the third pictures really were like, yeah, this is a Venom Jew Bear creature. Mm. 
The third yeah. one, it looks like a little gremlin. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, Here. I don't know. I don't know anything about these creatures, like where they're from or what they <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, me neither. This next one, I can tell where it's from now, just because it's in the name. This is a Honduran white bat. Oh. oh, that looks like something from uh, Fallen Order a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's the toilet. <laughs> it's the toilet! <laughs> oh, the toilet seat, rather. For anyone <laughs> listening, it's it's an inside joke. <laughs> I just want to know, what. look on the bottom picture, what is that fucking like red drop that's coming oh, out of it. I was looking at that. I'm thinking, is that like a, like a blister or something or. Or is that like pre cum? Oh my God. <laughs> I hope it's not. I hope it's just something. That, <laughs> it's just well, no, I don't know, something that dropped from the cave ceiling or something mid picture, but it's not in motion. Or maybe it's like, you know, like how neck beards get so excited by anime titties online that they just like, they start like lactating. Maybe it's that. So I'm, I'm looking and they're talking, uh, the image, some people feel like that it's skiing. The Honduran white bat. Anyways, uh, here is, I, we all know a possum. A but what? We all know a possum. But oh, okay. What some people may not know is that there are many kinds of possums. All and, right. And let me get some for everyone to see that there are various kinds. Okay. Holy shit, that's a fat one. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm looking at the last one. You just posted like five of them at once, so yeah, six, no, six of them. Sorry, I'm just looking at that last one, the big fat one. I'm thinking like that one's got the look on its face, like you know, I know where you live, and I'm gonna fucking kill you. Yeah, a true venom bear creature. <laughs> and then yeah, the third from the bottom is this like you know, spare change, ma'am, spare change. Yes, indeed. And then the second one from the top is like, you know, I'm going to piss your pants. Your pants, yeah. It looks oh. like it's already pissed its pants. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it doesn't have any. Yeah. It, like, it looks like it fully intends on doing so. The pissing possum. Right, oh, so... alliteration. So... I guess it's my turn. So this one, not too surprising, but uh, oh, you're typing something. Oh, no, no, I'm done. Oh. Not too surprising, but this one is just a weasel. Oh, <laughs> classic. And it's, I mean, it's kind of fitting because um, the new Suicide Squad movie, the, the oh character, the weasel. You and fucking yeah. Weasel. That, he's the best character in the movie. No, he's not. Harley he's the best, the best character. character. You are a simp for believing Ironic. that. Ironic. Ironic. No, you are every sink like every you're other a fucking simp for person. Weasel. I'm a simp for Weasel, but you're a simp for women. <laughs> your your point. Also ironic. So you're a simp for Weasels too, then. No, you dumb fuck. All right, but, so... But, but anyway, so yeah, so, like, if you've seen Ned's Declassified, you know the janitor was, like, throughout the entire series was hunting a weasel. And then he appeared in Suicide Squad, you know, as... And then he, well, we're meant to believe he died, like, in the first, like, ten minutes of the movie, but, you know... Then if you watch until, like, the mid credit scene, he lived... I died, but I lived, bitch. <laughs> so, I guess that's implying yeah. that we're gonna see him again in something, which, honestly, I'm glad, because he's a fucking crackhead. You know, it's just gonna be the fucking running gag, is he's just gonna die at the beginning of every movie, apparently, <laughs> and then in the post credit scene, he'll just get back up. 
Also, I'm just going to plug, go back and watch our premiere episode of us reacting to that movie for the first time. Yes, please. And leave a comment showing that uh, you came from this episode. Yeah. yeah. Leave a comment anyway. Nobody does it any. Nobody does it. Nobody cares about this podcast, about the shitty fucking podcast. Oh, the shitty fucking podcast. I mean, well, yeah, well, I'll give you that. It's fair. I mean, Anyways. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. On. <laughs> Here is another deep sea venom jewel creature. A Ooh. sea pen. Hmm. I like it. What? Hold on. I'm wh like, what the fuck? What's the anatomy of this thing? Like, where's its head? It doesn't have one. I have so I many it's, it's, it's practically like it's borderline plant life, like the, from the looks uh, of it. Huh. Like so it some, just kind of some, planted into the ground, maybe. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's that's one thing that's like fascinating to me is like some of the uh you know how like only five percent of our ocean is explored? Yeah. yeah. Or like five percent of the ocean, I mean. The other nut so like all the sea creatures and all that we know about, that's only five percent of what we know, so like imagine what's in the other ninety five percent. Like imagine what alien looking fucking shit we don't know is under there. Probably for the best. <laughs> like, imagine what prehistoric creatures or very primitive or alien-looking creatures are under there and we still don't know about them. Yeah. Freaky thought. Uh, I have another creature if we're ready. Go ahead. All right. This is a Jerboa. Oh, that's the fucking thing you found earlier today, right? <laughs> yeah, I love them. They're 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 adorable. There's here's some more pictures. Okay, dude. Like when you first posted that, like it was that bottom picture. Like you posted that earlier. I'm like, that's a fucking Photoshop, isn't it? It but, looks like. Apparently it's not. So, like, what what the fuck is this? Can you tell us? It well, to be a type of uh, kangaroo mouse, which is a breed of mice, of course. But it is in desert. It's a desert creature. This thing definitely happened when a mouse fucked a rabbit, and then the offspring of that fucked a kangaroo. <laughs> Like this, this genuinely looks like, um, you know, those like hybrid creatures in like the Avatar, the Last Airbender show. Yeah. And then Legend of yeah. Korra, like you know, there's turtle ducks, there's fucking koala otters. Like this looks like something that would be in that universe. Definitely. Mm hmm. So, so what? Yeah. Oh, sorry, what? I was gonna say, like it definitely, like you said, it looks like three different things combined into one. Yes. Uh, their lifespan is up to six years. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, for those interested, I love them. They're very strange. All uh, right. I guess guess I'm up now. So, yeah, Venom, this is definitely like you shared us, like shared this with us rather one time. I think you know what it is. The Sugar Glider. Sugar fucking glider. I love them. They pee a lot. <laughs> what? They pee a lot? Yeah, I uh, I know new people who own sugar gliders, and all they did was pee and scream. Uh, so maybe they're more like six-foot creatures then. Maybe a little bit of both. We had a collaboration and created a creature together. That's true. Think about it. They could have a higher piss radius than you because they can just fly while pissing. Yeah, they can. They can fucking like. They can do like terrorist pissings. As if you don't already do that. I've only ever pissed on my own driveway. Uh huh. Sure. I have just two more, and then I'm I'm done. The first uh, of which yeah. is once again a. Another deep sea creature. 
I present to you the red-lipped batfish. That thing looks like um that thing looks like the Joker. <laughs> what I'm the so hell? serious. <laughs> that thing looks like a crab, bass, um and an asshole. I don't know. That's all combined into one. The look, it almost looks photoshopped, but I've seen pictures of these, and they're very real. Fucking weird shit under the ocean. <laughs> oh, yeah. We need, uh, they need to make Finding Nemo 3, sort of. I know it's like the second one was Finding Dory, but they need to make a third movie where they just go really deep down and they just find all these fucking weird cr- Creatures. Just have it be like a crossover into Luca, where like all the sea creatures start like, you know. You haven't seen Luca, have you? No, no. I haven't. Oh, it's well. Do you know the what the premise is? Like the sea monsters, where it's like when they get to dry land, they turn into humans. Yeah. Never, never mind. Never mind. I'm just I, thinking yeah, like all so, the yeah. weird shit that that, that uh you know. Happens in that movie, Under the Ocean. Mm. All right, Venom, here's, you're up. Here's my next one. This is the Green Kangaroo. What kangaroo? God, what a fat oh, ass. <laughs> These things look like, uh, oh, tree kangaroo. What the hell? They things look adorable, but like they could also kick your ass at the same time. So kind of like oh. uh, the, the yeah the, the the bottom picture looks like your fucking uh, like short you know short chubby Irish guy at the bar who's really nice and talks to everybody, but like if you piss him off, he will fucking fight you and kick your ass to the curb. What kind of bars are you going to? <laughs> I'm just saying. (laughs) You have very colorful uh, comparisons. I mean, it's like he's got the eyes. He's got, like, the posture and the fucking, you know, the red hair. All over his body. (laughs) I mean, I don't know. Some Irish people are pretty fucking hairy. (laughs) I think. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, can I quote you on that? Some Irish people are hairy. <laughs> source, uh, I, and, source, I am one. Yes. Hairy Irishman. But anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, what have I got next? Okay, so... Or, okay, I'll share this one... This is my last real Venom Jew Bear creature. It's, I don't know what the name of it is. I just found it on Facebook the other day. It's a turtle or a tortoise of some kind. Oh. It's, um, all I know is, um, it's like some Delaware fucking, it, like the picture of that was taken in like some Delaware, like wildlife, uh, what do they call it? Like wildlife. Preservation Park or something like that. Yeah. Wild- wildlife Reserve, that's the word. Wildlife Reserve. Somebody took a picture of that, and I'm thinking, like, yeah, that's a Venom Jubber creature. Yeah, it truly is. Uh, right. uh, oh, are you going to before I Before I do mine, like, how many do each of you have left? I have one, two, three. Uh, I have three. I have left. three as yeah. I have three as well. All right, I'll save mine for absolute last. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Yeah. Let me let me um, know when you guys are done. Okay. Yeah. This is the proboscis monkey. <laughs> it looks like uh. Orange creamsicle monkey. Yeah. With it, and it's like it's got Squidward's nose. 
Uh-huh. It looks it looks like Gru from Despicable Me fucked a monkey. <laughs> Particularly in the in the bottom one. Yeah. Step one. I don't know what the fucking meme is. Where it's like, you know, step one, step two, and then step three, the fucking plan fails. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen that. Well, I think I only saw like the first hour of it in high school. It's one of those ones where it's like the teacher puts it on, you know, because it's like it's before a break and they don't feel like teaching. Yeah. So it's like watch maybe the first hour and then maybe a little bit more the next class and then that's it. That's more than I fucking care to watch. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. Grew. <laughs> Isn't he supposed to be like 12 feet tall? Something like that. I don't know. Let's, let me look. Let me look while you guys post your next one. All right. Uh, uh, all right. I guess I guess I'm up. So this is so I'm not going to be posting real like real life creatures anymore. I'm going to be posting like Star Wars creatures, if that's OK. Oh, yeah. interesting. why not? So this first one is Max Rebo. Oh, yes, I love Max Rebo. He's my favorite Star Wars character. So yeah, that's definitely a Venom Jubear creature. I mean, he plays that little fucking, uh, it's not a piano, but I mean, whatever that's supposed to be, it's kind of like a piano. Yeah. And it's it's like I've showed that picture, like I've showed, you know, <clears throat> sorry, whatever that picture, or like whatever that species is supposed to be. And they're just like, what the fuck is that? Like my I, mom, my mom especially, she doesn't like. She likes the Mandalorian, and so far as like you know, whenever Grogu is in it, otherwise doesn't care as much. So it's like whenever, she, like when it, <laughs> she sees that, she's like, <laughs> she's like, "What the hell is that?" Is this funny? Yeah, it is. I uh, so he's a he has a race. He's not just the only of his race. So, um, in the original Clone Wars series, like, you know, the the one from 2003. Yeah. We actually see, like, I think it's, like, very briefly, but we see, like, Max Rebo's species get, like, subjugated by the CIS. Oh. I mean, that that's Legends, but it's, like, you know... That's, like, they, uh, like... Uh, actually, let me look this up. Oh, you're looking that up. Gru is apparently ten feet tall. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, Max Rebo species is Ortol or Ortolan Ortolan. Hmm. Um, okay. <laughs> so fucking stupid in the comics. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, I'm gonna post this. Oh yeah, there's that. Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> what they the look, fuck? They look like they, like someone tried to draw Smurfs but with more detail, <laughs> and then they just gave them massive noses for some reason. Yeah. All right, so uh, uh, yeah, Venom, you're up. Okay, let's see what's next. This one is a classic. You guys will remember this one. Oh, uh, those things are fucking disturbing looking, but I mean they're harmless. It's helpful, believe it or not. Okay, first for everyone that doesn't know, this is a horseshoe crab. One, they're not technically a crab; they're closer related to roly colies and shit. But um. Hmm. They, their blood is used for insulin. Really? Yeah. It's blue and it's uh, very helpful. Yeah, because like, the- Sorry, what? I was just saying, like, I've seen those things washed up on beaches before and it's like, you know, 
they're very like they're they're disturbing looking just because I mean look at that shell. Yeah. But like if you ever see videos of like, you know, people like especially a live one they pick them up and it's like you see them on the under like on the underside and it's like you know, all their fucking how many legs they have like 10, I think. Probably. And they're just moving. It's kind of disturbing looking. Yeah, but, it's kind of like seeing a centipede. Yeah, but it it's weird. It's like, you know, it looks fucking scary, but at the same time, it's like they're actually, I think, kind of harmless. Yeah. They are. I, uh, I remember in kindergarten for show and tell, my teacher showed the body of a uh, horseshoe crab to us all. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like, like the thing with the, like the thing with horseshoe crabs is like they're prehistoric. So like you know, they haven't changed much since then. So yeah. All right. So yeah. So next one here is venom. You'll uh, actually, I'll do this one. Well, uh, it's a coin toss. I'll do this one first. You'll venom. You'll you will know instantly what this is. <laughs> that toilet seat. The toilet seat. Yes. So I guess should we explain why we're calling it the toilet seat or no? Yeah. Let me see if I can get the image. Okay. Yes. So the thing is, one day. In a server, someone was looking for an artist to make them a custom profile picture for their YouTube channel. And I wanted to do it because there was money involved. So they wanted a Shio bird from Jedi Fallen Order to be drawn. And so I drew it. And being a beginner commissioner, at the time, I was really dumb and showed them the final product. They then dipped out and then pretended to be hacked and then deleted their account, basically. And so I went on Twitter ang out of anger and went on a rant and then made the child bird into a toilet seat. This is the toilet seat. Which is fucking magnificent. What I mean... But yeah, if whoever ripped you off, the Venom, if whoever ripped you off is watching this, I hope you fucking never get laid. Yeah. Like, I hope the only pussy you ever get is from a fucking 7-Eleven gas station bathroom. They just from keep those bed. in there? What? <laughs> What did you they say? Just, I said, do they just keep those in the bathroom? <laughs> I mean, depends on where you go. Damn. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, but, so, yeah. But, but yeah, in all seriousness, go fuck yourself. Whoever, like, scammers in general, go fuck yourselves. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, I have another one. If anyone has another one, I can... Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. This one is fictional and one I drew myself. <laughs> what? Yeah. What is that? What is that supposed to be? So okay, I'm gonna give you a bit of a process into the mind of my process of drawing Phantom Jew Bear creatures. I like to practice my skills by drawing abstract shapes and. Once, if they look like something I like, to, like I would like to expand on drawing, I then fully flesh it out. This is one of those where I was drawing the stuff and I was like, huh, I should make this into something. And then there it is. Nice. I have no is, it clue like what it is. is it holding <laughs> another smaller creature? <laughs> the smaller creature is in its pouch. Okay. 
But like, is is it an offspring of this creature, or is it like, did it find it somewhere? Friend. What? They're friends. Oh, they're friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> looks awfully moody. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like God fucking damn it! I have to spend another day in this fucker's pouch. Yeah. He didn't even wash it. I pissed in it's it like, last it, time. It's like a fucking uncircumcised penis in here. Fucking schmegma and shit in here. He doesn't bother to fucking wash it out. So what you're saying is that's not a pouch, that's a foreskin. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. And oh, I'm... <laughs> but yeah, I would... I would like to see this. This like looks like something that would be like a small creature in a game. Yeah, not like something you would fight or anything, but just something that like wanders around. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> so my grand finale should have been the Shio Bird, actually. So this is my grand finale now. It's the Ogdo Bogdo. Ah, that. Oh. Yeah, the, the Shio bird should have been the finale, but oh well, whatever. I killed that thing without even taking damage. <laughs> wow. I think, Five uh, hours. well, first of all, do you want a medal? Second of all, I think. Well, I, I technically, I did get one. I got a fucking pink poncho. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's such a that's, fucking that's... insult. It's like you, you get go like the, the least attractive of... fucking poncho in the game after defeating that yeah. thing. <laughs> uh, something You're I kind of wish. What? Something I kind of wish I did as like a gag in my let's play, but like I, I wouldn't have known about it right away. Is to have, every time I picked up a poncho, I would have had to switch to that poncho. Mm. Like I pro like that would have been something kind of amusing. I probably would have been stuck with the damn pink one for several episodes. <laughs> I gotta replay that. Okay. But anyway, uh, what's your next one? You know, this is the final one, and this is one that uh, no one knows about, hasn't been shown off, and uh, I don't think even you guys know. Oh, boy. Let me see. Oh, uh, let's see. How many of these pictures can I post? This is oh, a my God. oh my God! God, it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at that! It's a masterpiece. What the is first, this thing? The first one looks like it's fucking trying to hide something. <laughs> this is a post here. They uh, they are the best creature on Earth, and anyone who doesn't know about them are inferior beings. Oh, yes. uh, yep. I see one that looks like it's about to, you know, get laid, and I see another one that's yawning. Yeah. Beautiful creatures, and uh, on that note, with the most amazing creature on Earth being shown for the first time to the entire populace, I think I have been appeased with Venom Jupiter creature images, and I am now going back to my hole in the Earth. And I think I think Futurama had the right idea in showing tape ears in it. Yes, I agree. Before you go, oh. Venom, I have one yeah. last one. This is oh, no. <clears throat> It's an amazing Venom Jubert creature. It actually has the ability to shape shift. Oh, and no. I guess you could say it's quite a daring creature. Oh, you ass. <laughs> yes. This I, is a uh... Evans. It's um it's similar if you've seen Avatar. Um it's kind of like Ko the face dealer, except in it's in reverse. It shapeshifts into whatever it wants, but it always retains the same face. Yeah. Oh, these things, uh, you can typically find them wandering through trenches. Um, 
kind of looks uh, like uh, Andrew Garfield. <clears throat> you'll uh, t- you'll also like you can know when one's in the area. You'll find like copies of Assassin's Creed. Uh, random computer parts just strewn about. So yeah, wow. it's a pretty I interesting that, Venom Jubert creature. Yeah, I kind of hate it. If any Deck Evans are watching this podcast episode, I wish you great unfortunes to your life. <laughs> Make fortunes, unfortunes. Man, I don't even know English. I think I'm Wafas now. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. If your name is Jack Evans, no thank you for tuning in. Never watch our podcast again. See ya. Yeah, thanks for listening. Also, uh, happy April Fool's, fuckers. Yeah, happy April Fool's.